For today's video, we are going to talk about how to rewrite exponential form into radical form and we are going to explain everything in details. So let A be any real number and N be a positive integer greater than 1, then A raised to 1 over N, if we are going to write this one into radical form, that is nth root of A. And if we are going to have A raised to m over n, that is nth root of a raised to m, or we can write as quantity nth root of a raised to m. Since nth root of a raised to m is an example of radical expression, where n is the index or order which indicates the degree of the radical, a raised to m, that is what we call the radican, which is the number or expression inside the radical symbol, and m is the power or exponent of the radicand, and this symbol is what we call the radical sign. And a raised to m over n is what we call the principal nth root of a raised to m, where m over n is an example of rational number and a is a positive real number, then a raised to m over n is equal to nth root of a raised to m, or we can write as quantity nth root of a raised to m, provided that the nth root of a raised to m is a real number. And those are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to rewrite exponential form into radical form. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number 1, quantity 8x raised to 1 third. To write this one into radical form, we are going to have 8x as our radicand, 3 as our index, and 1 as the power of the radicand. So we are going to write this one as cube root of quantity 8x raised to 1 or we can write as cube root of 8x and this will be our answer. On example number 2, 4x raised to 1 half. Since 4 is not being raised by 1 half, we can write this one as 4 times square root of x and if we are going to simplify that is 4 square root of x and this will be our answer on example number three quantity x cubed y square raised to one fourth to convert this one into radical form let us have fourth root of quantity x cubed y square raised to one and if we are going to simplify, let us have 4th root of x cubed y square. And this will be our answer. On example number 4, quantity a raised to 5, b raised to 1 fifth. To write this one into radical form, let us have fifth root of quantity a raised to 5, b raised to 1. Or we can write as fifth root of a raised to 5 b and this will be our answer on example number 5 x raised to 4 over 7 y raised to 1 over 7 since the exponent of x and y have the same denominator we can write this one as quantity x raised to 4 y raised to 1 raised to 1 over 7 because if you are going to multiply 1 over 7 to 4 and 1, we are going to have 4 over 7 and 1 over 7. And to write this one into radical form, we are going to have 7th root of quantity x raised to 4, y raised to 1. And to simplify, that is 7th root of x raised to 4, y. And this will be our answer. On example number 6, 8x raised to 3 over 5, y raised to 2 over 5. Since 8 is not being raised by 3 over 5, we can write this one as 8 times quantity x raised to 3 over 5, y raised to 2 over 5. Since the exponent of x and y have the same denominator, we can write this one as 8 times quantity x raised to 3, y square raised to 1 over 5. Because 3 times 1 over 5, that is 3 over 5. 
and 2 times 1 over 5, that is 2 over 5. So let us write this one as 8 fifth root of quantity x cubed y square raised to 1. Or 8 fifth root of x cubed y square. And this will be our answer. On example number 7, 5x raised to 1 half, y raised to 1 third. Since 5 is not being raised by 1 half, we can write this one as 5 times quantity x raised to 1 half, y raised to 1 third. Since the exponent of x and y have different denominator, let us find the LCM of 2 and 3. So let us write 5 and then let us have x and y. The LCM of 2 and 3, that is 6. And then 6 divided by 2, that is 3, times 1 is 3. And 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 1, that is 2. So we can write this one as 5 times x cubed y squared raised to 1 over 6. Because 3 times 1 over 6, that is 3 over 6. And 2 times 1 over 6, that is 2 over 6. So we can write this one as 5 to the 6th root of quantity x cubed y squared raised to 1. Or 5 to the 6th root of x cubed y squared. And this will be our answer. On example number 8, quantity 3x plus 1 raised to 5 over 4. To write this one into radical form, let us have 4 as our index. And then we have 3x plus 1 raised to 5. And this will be our answer. On example number 9, quantity 2x plus 1 raised to 2 over 5. So to write this one into radical form, let us have 5 as our index, that is fifth root of quantity 2x plus 1 square. And this will be our answer. On our last example, 4 times quantity 5x minus 2 raised to 5 over 4. Since 4 is not being raised by 5 over 4, we can write this one as 4 to the 4th root of 5x minus 2 raised to 5. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.